Messi and Ronaldo, two of the greats, are ending their careers in the USA and Saudi Arabia. So today I'm giving them a new career in football management by putting them in charge of their first professional clubs. Newell's Old Boys in Argentina for Messi and Nacional de Madeira in Portugal for Ronaldo. Who do you think is going to have the more successful career? Messi's strengths are certainly on the mental side of things. His coaching ability just isn't as good, so he certainly won't be developing the next Messi. Ronaldo, on the other hand, is perhaps slightly better at coaching, but is also way stronger mentally. It's important to note that I have not set these attributes for these players. I've gone into the pre-game editor, changed these guys from players to managers, and this is what the game has come up with. Now, in season one, Ronaldo has had a very good season. Nacional finish in fourth place in Portugal's second division, just missing out on promotion as they lost in the promotion playoff against the team from the league above. In Argentina, they play their season between January and December. So at this point, we're only halfway through the season and Newell's Old Boys are in eighth place. However, this database started halfway through the previous season, meaning Messi took over whilst Newell's Old Boys were in the Copa Sudamericana and went on to win the tournament, which is basically the equivalent of the Europa League. So early indications show that Messi is winning the battle. By the end of his first full season in charge, he took Newell's to third in the overall league table. And now halfway through the next season, they're only in 11th place. I hope he takes a job in Europe soon so he can be done with Argentina and their league being at a different time of the year to Europe. Ronaldo, on the other hand, can only guide Nacional to ninth in the table, a step back from last season's successes. And things clearly didn't go very well in season three as he was sacked. But he was then hired as the manager of Gil Vicente and got them relegated from Portugal's top division. This has not been a good start for Cristiano. Messi is still at Newell's. He won nothing last season and is currently in fifth place so far this season. But in season four, he does something really bizarre. He's taken the job at Al Halal in Saudi Arabia, which I was not anticipating. These are all the leagues I've got loaded up. And as you can see, Saudi Arabia isn't one of them. Because of that, there's no way for us to see the league table. So we don't know how he's done domestically. However, we can see the Asian Champions League, where he has just helped the Saudi side win the competition 6-1 against Yokohama Marinos from Japan. So whilst he can't win a league title, that's now two continental competitions that he's won. Ronaldo has also had some success as he's won the second division title with Gil Vicente to get them back promoted to the big leagues. So trophies all around in season four. The following season, he guides them to a very respectable 11th place in Portugal's top division, 13 points away from the European spots. But just before the end of the season, Messi left Al Halal for Reims in France. He had three games for them in Ligue 1 and helped them finish in 10th place, but he also also had some games in the Europa League, but he lost the Europa League final to Newcastle 1-0. Imagine how cool that would have been, joining Reims and immediately winning a continental trophy. The following season, he takes them to seventh place in the table and secures Europa Conference League football for next season. But he won't be playing against Ronaldo as Cristiano moved jobs over summer to join Sporting, another one of his former clubs. As you can see, he's also won the Portuguese Super Cup, but I feel like Super Cups in all countries just aren't really proper trophies. So in the grand scheme of counting up all the trophies at the end of the video, we won't be including all the Super Cups these two managers should be winning. He could only guide Sporting to fourth place in the league and a Europa League spot next season, which the fans might see as a failure of a season. But I do quite like how Ronaldo is building himself up as a manager in Portugal especially as Messi is taking a global approach instead. They're doing the complete opposite of each other. Now, Messi could only guide Reims to the quarterfinals of the Conference League in season seven, 
embarrassingly losing to Bournemouth, who eventually lost in the final. But he had a superb season in League 1, guarding Reims to second place and Champions League football next season. Will he have the chance to play against Ronaldo next season in the Champions League? Well, Ronaldo lost to Spurs in the Europa League round of 16, so won't qualify for the Champions League via that route. And he could only finish in fourth place in the Portuguese League, to miss out on the Champions League. So there won't be any matchups between these two legends in season eight. Messi does really well to get Reims into the round of 16 in the Champions League, but they end up losing to Inter Milan. He will have another shot next season as they finish third in the table to prove last season wasn't a fluke. Sporting go one further in the Europa League this season, but lose to Lazio in the quarterfinals. But this season, Ronaldo finally gets the team into the top three and has Champions League football next season. So finally, we might just see Messi versus Ronaldo as managers in season nine. I can see it now. Ronaldo's 4-3-3 control possession against Messi's 4-4-2 wing play. They'll be locked into an epic battle. However, they didn't get drawn against each other. Whilst Reims came third in the league phase, Sporting finished all the way down in 29th and didn't even make the knockouts. And once again, Messi will be in the Champions League next season as he finishes in fourth place with Reims. Sporting also finished in fourth place, but in Portugal, that's only good enough for the Europa League. However, in season 10, Messi decides to move to RB Leipzig and won some sort of award. I don't speak German, but to me, it looks like best coach. And that might be because he took Leipzig to within six points of Bayern Munich this season, which is a real achievement. He also took them to the Champions League quarterfinals, where you'll notice Reims don't feature in the round of 16 or beyond. So I guess he moved at the exact right time. And in Portugal, Ronaldo just can't get the sporting side into a title fight this season dropping to fifth place. But he almost guided them to a Europa League final, only losing in the semi-finals to another one of his former clubs, Manchester United. So that semi-final run might just save his job because surely the sporting board are getting frustrated that they just aren't winning a title. So after 10 seasons, Messi has won the Copa Sudamericana and the AFC Champions League. Ronaldo just has the Portuguese second division. Also, based on the fact that Messi has qualified for the Champions League on more occasions and got further in it, for me right now, Messi has had the more successful career. Especially as early in season 11, Ronaldo was finally sacked and is now looking for a new job. When he eventually gets another job, we'll join back with him. In the meantime, Messi misses out on the Bundesliga title again, but this time by a single point. But he does manage to win the DFB Pokal in extra time against a second division side. Imagine if he'd lost this game. But finally in season 12, Messi topples by Munich and wins the all important Bundesliga title his first domestic league trophy. And that really impressed some bigger sides. As two weeks after he won the title, he was made the manager of Liverpool for season 13 onwards. But this Liverpool side is not as good as they are in real life. They just finished seventh place in the Premier League, only qualifying for the Conference League. Mad how Wolves are the second best team in England and Bournemouth are in the Champions League. So in his first season in charge, he can't improve on that seventh place finish, which is a little bit concerning. However, he tore his way through the Europa Conference League to win the trophy, comprehensively beating Espanyol in the final for his fifth trophy. So at this point, he is head and shoulders above Ronaldo, who might be trying to emulate Messi's career, as he's now taken the Lens job in France. He joined with about three games to play left in the season and he took them to eighth place, just missing out on European football. So surely next season, his aim is to get inside the top seven. And he does secure Europa League football for season 15 by finishing in sixth place in season 14. Ronaldo is on his way back up. Liverpool, on the other hand, have just won the Premier League title. Messi is a genius. Although, actually, he isn't. Messi left Liverpool over summer to join Newcastle instead. 
And although he has just won them the Carabao Cup, they only finish fifth in the Premier League table. So maybe Messi has bottled this one. Or maybe he was waiting for the next season. Where Newcastle have lifted the title and Liverpool dropped back down to seventh place. Was Messi playing 5D chess whilst we're all playing checkers? Because he also took Newcastle to the semi-finals of the Champions League, but lost to eventual winners Atletico Madrid. Ronaldo, on the other hand, got sacked. Which, by the way, feels incredibly harsh. Lenz ended up finishing sixth in the table, and he was only sacked when they dropped to eighth in the table for one game week. I feel pretty bad for him, so we'll link up with him once again when he gets a new job. In the meantime, Messi has just won back-to-back -back Premier League titles in season 16, winning the title this year on goal difference ahead of Chelsea. And he also wins the Champions League this season, beating his former club Barcelona in the final on penalties. Imagine if this happened in real life. Would it ruin his legacy at Barcelona? Well, he is certainly going to have a good legacy at Newcastle because he's just won his third Premier League title in a row in season 17, a point ahead of his former club Liverpool before going back to back in the Champions League, this time beating Atletico in the final. So surely now at this stage, it must be impossible for Ronaldo to come back and beat Messi's trophy haul. I don't know, I've got a pretty sneaky feeling Ronaldo is going to win quite a few trophies in the near future. That's because the 55-year-old Ronaldo is now in charge of Valencia, but he's not been able to add a trophy to his collection as Los Che finished in 12th place this season, 10 points away from Europe. But he doesn't stay at Valencia for long. Because in the following season, Arsenal sign him up in January. Meaning that finally, Messi and Ronaldo are managing in the same league. I can't believe it. After 18 seasons, we are finally going to see the two greats go head-to-head -head as managers. I mean, obviously, there's no way that Messi has left Newcastle to go to a different league. R right? Four months before Ronaldo joined Arsenal, Messi left Newcastle to go to Napoli. He took them to a fourth place finish, nine points away from AC Milan. But if he'd stayed in the Premier League, he could have won a fourth title with Newcastle as Ronaldo takes Arsenal to seventh. Is just one match between Messi and Ronaldo as managers really too much to ask? Then in season 19, Ronaldo can only guide Arsenal to another seventh place finish. But finally, he has won his second trophy. He beat his former club Manchester United in the FA Cup final. It's even more impressive because Messi didn't manage to win the FA Cup. But Messi has also just won the Coppa Italia, which is something that Ronaldo has never won. He also improved the team to second in Serie A as Atalanta of all teams win the title. Atalanta actually go back to back in season 20 and Napoli drop down to third but they actually finished closer to Atalanta's points total than they did in the previous season. Ronaldo has guided Arsenal to fifth place in the Premier League, but has another trophy for the cabinet. This time, he's beaten Man City in the Europa League final. Once a Manchester United man, always a Manchester United man. But after 20 seasons, Messi is certainly winning on the trophy front, with 12 major trophies compared to Ronaldo's three and we're being a bit generous with the Portuguese second division trophy in there for Ronaldo as well. Now, incredibly, after Ronaldo won the Europa League, three months into the new season, Arsenal have sacked him, and he is once again unemployed. To be fair though, they were only 15th in the table when he was sacked, so it's way more justified than his sacking when he was the boss of Lens. Messi is having his own troubles, he still can't win Serie A, and Atalanta make it three in a row. They've also now won three Champions Leagues, which is absolutely incredible. I know Messi has got some emulating Maradona thing going on at Napoli, but I think he's really missed a trick by not going for the Atalanta job when it became available. But maybe Ronaldo is now trying to emulate Messi, because he has just been appointed as the Newcastle manager and won them the FA Cup in his first season. They haven't won the title since the season Messi left the club, but they did come within eight points this year with Ronaldo at the helm. 
So with Ronaldo now in charge on the tune, will he be able to win Premier League titles and Champions Leagues with them, just like Messi did? This season, Messi drops back to fourth in Serie A, and it looks like his Serie A adventure has been a failure. So he's decided to leave Napoli and go back to Liverpool to have a second go at that job. This means that finally we are going to see Messi take on Ronaldo next season for the very first time. Napoli did play Newcastle this past season, but the game happened before Ronaldo moved to Newcastle. So I am so excited that in season 23, we are finally gonna get our first showdown. In the first game, Messi's Liverpool beat Ronaldo's 10-man Newcastle to take all three points. And then he won again in the reverse fixture in this potentially title-deciding six-pointer, which decided Newcastle wouldn't win the league. If Newcastle had won both games, they'd have finished ahead of Liverpool and won the title. But instead, they sit in third place behind Liverpool. Newcastle did win the League Cup though, beating West Ham in the final, but Messi's Liverpool won the FA Cup, the first time for Messi, so it's one trophy apiece this season. But over summer, Ronaldo won the Club World Cup with Newcastle, beating AC Milan on penalties so he is slowly but surely catching up with the number of trophies that Messi has won. And in season 24, he finally adds the Premier League trophy to his cabinet, as Newcastle lift the title and Liverpool drop to sixth. It's a trophyless season for Messi, but Ronaldo does the double by winning a second League Cup. Then in season 25, Ronaldo does what Messi did, and goes back to back with Newcastle for Premier League titles, whilst Liverpool and Messi stay rooted in fifth place. But Ronaldo can't do a Messi three in a row as he misses out on the title in season 26 by just one goal difference to Man City as Liverpool once again finish in fifth spot. This was not good enough for the Liverpool board as they sacked him in November and then in March, he joins Sunderland. Now Sunderland are in the Premier League. They just finished in 13th place. But does this mean that Messi is finished? This is a man who's won three Premier League titles and two Champions Leagues with Newcastle. Now you're telling me he's joining their biggest rivals who are only mid-table in the Premier League. At least the Messi versus Ronaldo Tyneweir derby games are going to be massive. I'd like to think that's why he's done it. He just wants to have a big rivalry with Ronaldo. Also, if you're interested, Steven Gerrard took over at Liverpool for the very first time at the age of 69. I like the idea that Gerrard has refused to retire until he can manage Liverpool. Back to the time we are derby though, there was only one derby day between our two managers, a two-all draw. Before the second could take place, Messi moved on to Fulham, who finished in 10th place in the Premier League, behind Sunderland in 7th, and behind Newcastle, who won the title for Ronaldo's third. He also won his third FA Cup as well, beating Manchester United in another final. So if Messi wants to assert himself as the best manager, he needs to do something drastic, like getting sacked by Fulham. But he has decided to give international management a go by taking the job at Croatia. Once again though, I do feel a bit sorry for Ronaldo because six months after winning his third Premier League title, he gets sacked by Newcastle. They finished in fifth place overall, but to be fair, they were 14th when they decided to get rid of Ronnie. And this turned out to be his last job. At 66 years old, he actually stays in the database for another two years but never gets another job before retiring. So after 28 seasons, the trophy halls look a lot more even, but Messi just has more with 13 major trophies compared to Ronaldo's 11. And Messi has the chance to win more with Croatia. However, after four years of winning nothing with Croatia, he has four years of winning nothing with Argentina before retiring at the age of 71, meaning he ends his career eight years later on with no extra trophies. So whilst Messi did win more, including the Champions League, technically because Ronaldo had the shorter career, he won more trophies per season if you average them out across their careers. I still think that Messi just about had the better career, but let me know what you think down in the comment section. Then once you've done that, you can watch this video where I've reset Paul Pogba's career back to the start 
to see if he can have an even more successful career a second time around than he did in real life.